We all know car manufacturers publish official 0 to 62 times for their cars, but typically these are done in the most perfect of conditions and with professional drivers. But it's all about the weather, the road surface, what tyres you have, who is sitting behind the wheel, how they drive. Yep. In ideal conditions, with launch control, almost anyone could get that perfect 0 to 62. But what happens in the real world? In the real world, anything can happen. Today's real-world drag race features two very different cars, one inspired for the track and the other a proper continent cruiser. First up, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. With its 4-litre flat-six engine producing 500 horsepower, it can do the 0-62 sprint in 3.4 seconds. It's got pulled-out arches, a big air intakes and a huge rear wing, hinting that this car's probably happier doing laps of a track than collecting your groceries from the supermarket. Weighing in at just over 1400 kilograms, it's got a top speed of 193 miles an hour and driven by a man called Conrad, who's very confident he's going to perform well in a straight line. And it needs to perform well as it's up against this, the Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster. Powered by a six and a half liter naturally aspirated V12, the Aventador has 740 horsepower. Add the fact that it has all-wheel drive, and that's why it can see off the 0-62 time in just three seconds. Stunning looks, a glorious soundtrack, and on paper this should be an open and shut case for the Lambo. But let's see what happens. A couple of very different cars, a, a lean green Porsche and a silver dream Aventador with a lot of power, but quite a bit more weight. Do you think the frisky Porsche can create an upset? No, I don't actually. That's the GT, believe it or not. The Aventador S is classed as GT and that is an outright sports car. But getting off the line, it's all about traction. That thing there. But he's got the weight over the rear wheels. And look at the rear wing. And he can drive apparently. Oh, yeah, a bit tasty. The tasty driver in the Porsche is Conrad, complete with matching hoodie. He's ready and so's Graham, looking very confident in the Lambo. Time to place your bets. After all that build-up, there's a bit of an open and shut case for the far more powerful Lamborghini, but let's see that again. Actually, a brilliant start for both cars. It's quite a tricky surface to get the power down. It's much more slippery than it looks, which of course affects the overall times. But that Lambo is just such a beast, and with its brilliant traction and all that power advantage, it squats and smashes through the finish line for a quarter mile time of 11.16 seconds. A valiant effort from the GT3 RS, but is no match for the outright power of the Aventador S Roadster. They seem happy at least. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button for lots more drag races to come with pairings you probably won't find anywhere else on YouTube.